The Washington Wizards have signed free agent point guard Brad Wanamaker, who just recently got waived by the Indiana Pacers after playing 22 games there and averaging only three and a half points a game. So I think this is a decent signing by uh, by the Wizards because at the point guard position right now, they have Aaron Holiday, Spencer Dinwiddie, and Cassius Winston, who's on a two-way contract. So they really don't have a lot of point guards. And then if you look at who they have in health and safety protocols, well, they have Contavious Caldwell-Pope, Bradley Beal, Raul Neto, Aaron Holiday, Anthony Gill, Thomas Bryant, Montrez Harrell, and Rui Hachimura. So yeah, Rui Hachimura and Thomas Bryant have not played this season but when you look at that Aaron Holiday was one of their two point guards because we're not going to count Cassius Winston because he's on a two-way contract so they're basically bringing in Brad Wanamaker for 10 days to play backup point guard to uh, to Spencer Dinwiddie so with him playing backup point guard to Spencer Dinwiddie that will make oh and then Raul Neto is also there too I forgot about Raul Neto so Raul Neto um, and Brad Wanamaker will probably share minutes uh, so Brad Wanamaker will probably not, oh, ra- wait, no, excuse me, Raul Neto is in health and ticket protocols. Okay, so Brad Wanamaker will play backup point guard, um, and so I, I'm sure that once they are out of health and safety protocols, once 10 days is over, he will not be on the Washington Wizards. There's just no reason for them to keep him around. Basically, I, th- I believe the reason they kept him instead of signing a two-way, or I mean a G League guy to a 10-day is because He's more reliable. He's been in the league for a couple years now. Um, not actually as many years as you'd think. He's only been in the league since the 2018-19 season where he started at the Celtics. He was a 29-year-old rookie. He is now 32 years old. So with that, he, he's an older player that's more experienced, better veteran player that I think that they're going to use more as just a veteran guy that can they know can what he's going to do, and it's not going to be very inconsistent like a G League guy. So I think it's a great signing in that regard. But um, yeah, I'm curious to see what all you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'll see you guys all later in the next upload. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn notification bells to all. And yeah, peace out, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.